तो डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया सो एसीआर डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया व्हाट इज एन एसीआर यू अंडरस्टैंड इज अमेरिकन कॉलेज ऑफ रोमेटोलॉजी ओके इट हैज अ डायग्नोस्टिक क्राइटेरिया व्हिच इज अ मेजरमेंट ऑफ द स्केल्स so description as i told all of you know this now is the morning stiffness there are involvement of more than three joints three or three or more arthritis of the hand joints the small small joints there is a symmetric arthritis is rheumatoid nodules are present serum rheumatoid factor and radiographic change all these just keep these things in mind that these all i have told you okay the when a person is said to be uh, rheumatoid uh, arthritis affected if he or he he or she has satisfied four of seven criteria okay which criteria one to four present for at least just stick in mind okay four of seven criteria and first four should be least present that is stiffness arthritis of three or more joints Uh, arthritis of the hand of joints and symmetric arthritis okay so as i told a score of more than 6 to 10 is needed or uh, different is joint involvement It can be a large joint 2 to 10 large joint serology is uh, negative rf all this i have told you already acute phase see this is a scoring okay you have no, not everyone can remember not uh, nor i can or everyone can remember the scoring part you need to keep a booklet for this for, for all the scorings not just uh, for arthritis for everything like appendicitis cholecystitis cholelithiasis everything so you should always keep on reading it that will brush it off okay so just keep in mind this so the management part how do you manage as we are doctors now so you should always know the goal of management relieving the pain first always remember diagnosis come later treat the pain first if the pain is relieved uh, it relieved for the patient nothing more than that okay so focus on relieving pain so prevent the damage or disability as much as you can it is uh, counseling for the patient that is patient education physical therapy occupational therapy and treatment should be started as early as and and should be individualized and on the red note always remember early aggressive treatment treatment modalities you say nsaids steroids dmards okay DMARDs. Uh, what do you understand is this is a disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs, immunosuppressive therapy, biological therapies, and surgery. Okay, surgery comes the last. So NSAID, like what we say, is uh, coxibs for the symptom control. Name one uh, coxib. Come on, quick. What is NSAID? You will uh, suggest to a patient a coxib. Quick answer. Salicoxib, nice. Any other common coxib you should know that is easily available. Yes, etoricoxib, good. So reduce pain and swelling. Do not alter course for the disease. Chronic use should be minimized, as you know it can lead to uh, kidney dysfunction and all. Most common side effect related to the GI tract. Corticosteroids. Okay, corticosteroid is both. systemic and intra articular import uh, it is an important adjunct in the management of rheumatoid arthritis indications is for the treatment for the flares like flaring disease of rheumatoid for extra articular ra like rheumatoid vasculitis and as a bridge therapy what is bridge therapy first you should know that what do you understand a bridge 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 therapy nowadays you are hearing bridge courses also what is bridge therapy so basically bridge therapy we always uh, do to reduce like to minimize the risk of any of the disease okay that uh, not for every patient it is essential and it does not affect like most of the patients but we 
we need to start the bridge therapy when we go on to the another disease therapy. As you see, he has a bridge therapy for six to eight weeks before the action of DMRDS to begin. Okay, maintenance dose. Okay, 10 mg or less prednisolone daily in patient. Okay, 10 mg prednisolone. Corticosteroid used in rheumatoid arthritis, prednisolone minimum 10 mg. And sometimes in pregnancy, when other DMRs cannot be used. Okay. So, disease modifying anti rheumatic agents that we use, drugs that actually alter the disease course, should be used as soon as diagnosis is made. Uh, made. Appearance of benefit delayed for weeks to months. Okay. Then we use the MRDS. Okay. And this I must be continued with them. As I told you, the pain part should be relieved. First, induction of true uh, remission is unusual. Commonly used DMRDs, all we know is methotrexate, hydroxychloroquine, sulfasalazine, and lefilunomide. Okay. Less commonly, you see chloroquine, uh, less gold parenteral and oral, cyclosporin A, uh, D penicillamine. You should you sh you have to learn all these. Okay. What do you understand here? Like I have written gold, like these are less common used. What is a gold therapy? Anyone have anyone knows that gold is also used, but it is less commonly used earlier. That is, yeah, that is, but why it was used? What does it, what is the action of gold? Yeah, it is toxic. Now it is not used. It, earlier it was used uh, like uh, uh, gold. What happens it, it reduces cytokine expression of macrophages. Okay. There is a antibody production and reduces adhesion molecules. That is why it was used. But as it is toxic, so it is uh, less used now. Okay. Clinical information. So doses you need to know, and you need to know the side effects. How how do you monitor it, and what is the on onset of action? Hydroxy chloroquine, two hundred mg twice a day for three months, then once daily. You can just uh, screenshot all these doses if you want to learn it. Just me telling this won't uh, just go in your head. You should know the drug names. At least you should know that. Okay. For the clinical point of view, when you are you administering to your patients, you should uh, keep in mind. Sulfasalazine, lefilonamide, as I told. You know the side effects for that. Always go for routine testings for such patients or at least for CBC, LFT and RFT to check if there is any kind of hepatotoxicity to the patient. Check for CRP. So when to start? Uh, it is indicated to all the patients to have active disease. Like, and uh, period of three months is arbitrary. Okay. Vast majority, however, need DMRDs, and many rheumatologists are DMRDs from day one. So, any patient coming to you, start with DMRDs, start with methotrexate, okay, and uh, continuous monitor the patient, okay, monitor with their labs, okay, ask for any severity in the diseases, okay, go for routine testing and monitoring for the patient. How to select? There are no strict guidelines, see, as I told. Red note clearly seen methotrexate is the DMRD of choice, most widely prescribed in the world. Okay, it has rapid onset of action and then any other of the DMRDs. So keep methotrexate in mind, keep the dose in mind, and whenever a patient comes to you for the next time, just start the therapy along with a corticosteroid, prednisolone, minimum 10. Okay, in singly or combination. Okay. See, pain management is also important, okay? Methotrexate is an, as an anchor drug and combination of methotrexate with lefilonamide 
are synergistic since the made ex mode of action is different. Okay, so the combination is methotrexate with leflunamide. Limitation is onset of action takes several months. Remission is induced. They have tendency uh, to lose effectiveness with one time. That is a slip out effect. Okay, there can be uh, substantial toxicity. These drawbacks have made results for the alternative treatment. That is a biological response modifier. There, this is the advancement in the rheumatology, uh, rheumatology drugs that you see. Uh, that is the main topic. So, so you have understood the disease, the pathogenesis, the joints affected, the test you need to do. And uh, we are working with the management part, the basic management for a rural point of view. Now you know. And uh, so uh, I'll go with uh, what is uh, for the next, uh, that is immunosuppressive therapy. So as a, th uh, as a thioprin, cyclosporine A, cyclophosphamide. Okay. Dosages check for it okay you download uh, i'll suggest you two apps uh, one is medscape okay and uh, other is uh, one app is there that is wik em w i k e m and medscape the doses are like written clearly when you just uh, type a name of any of the drug you are prescribing that will help you a lot for your medical practice also. The two apps, as I told, Medscape along with Wick EM, they'll help you a lot. You can go for a quick revision on that for any of the disease. So just uh, remember the three immunosuppressive uh, agents as a thioprene, cyclosporin A, and cyclophosphamide. So biologics, as I told, the advanced thing, so what are you, what being used is uh, cytokines such as TNF A interleukin one ten are key mediators of immune function in rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so the question can come in your PG exams. What are the key me mediators of the immune function? So you just have to keep in mind the three of these. Okay, uh, the various cytokines TNF A alpha has attracted maximum attention. Okay. So, by various biological which are approved is anti-TNF agents, interleukin-1 antagonist, 6 antagonist, anti-CD20, and T-cell uh, inhibitors, okay? So, you have, to, uh, you have to remember it by heart. There's no other choice. So, question can come. Uh, name uh, anti-TNF agent or name interleukin-1 or 6 antagonist. So, the drugs are infliximab, okay, adalimumab, anti DNF agents. One antagonist is anakendra, interleukin 6 is toslizumab, rituximab is an anti CD2, and abatacin. Uh, see, these names are tough, no doubt, but you have to remember these, okay. Mainly questions come for. Uh, like infliximab or tocilizumab or rituximab. Okay, so you just uh, keep these things in mind. So same, the dosages you need to, uh, and you need to always remember the side effects for any and always the contraindications for the diseases. These are Fleximab is given 3 mg and intense. Okay, just check for it. Other drugs, the remaining one. You can get a screenshot of it. So, this is an ACR update usually. Uh, how we need to start with the regimen, okay? To check for a disease activity and uh, you should always check for uh, features of uh, poor prognosis, okay? How you will uh, start a disease on an early rheumatoid arthritis with poor prognosis, anti-TNF 
or without methotrexate or combination DMRD therapy or without it is and uh, DMRD monotherapy or hydroxychloroquine or methotrexate therapy. Okay. 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 Okay